Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. Now, most of us out there have pets, and we either have dogs, or cats, or birds, or rabbits, or guinea pigs, but uh, I've got something a little bit different. Boo. Humans have enlisted animals to help fight their wars since the dawn of time, and militaries today still use a wide variety of animals from everything to bomb sniffing to coastline patrolling. And that goes especially for dogs. Now this may seem remarkable given the fact that they didn't evolve for the purpose of human conflict. While some dogs never make it to the battlefield, being used primarily for a mascot and morale purposes, many dogs do, and that is what this list is about. We are looking at the dogs who have a either a long time serving or highly decorated military career. So here we go, top five badass military dogs. I'd like to begin with an opening statement. Now, number five, we have a dog named Lex. Now, Lex showed both his loyalty and his bravery in the midst of battle. While following his handle around Corporal Lee in Fallujah, the pair was struck by a mortar. Now, during this attack, Corporal Lee was fatally wounded by the shrapnel, and his dog Lex sustained several shrapnel wounds. But that didn't stop this dog, who crawled his way over to Lee and lay on top of him, protecting him from the ongoing mortar fire until medics arrived. No way! Now, Lex was so loyal to his handler that other Marines physically had to tear him away so Corporal Lee could be attended to by the medics. Unfortunately, Corporal Lee died from his wounds. Although some shrapnel still remains in Lex's body, he recovered and he was allowed to retire with full honours. Now, the story gets just a little bit better here. Lex was adopted by Lee's family, Corporal Lee, the handler who fatally lost his life in Fallujah, along with so many other brave soldiers, and he is currently living at his retirement with the family of the handler whose life, tragically, he couldn't save. I tell you what, if anyone's considering robbing their house, I highly suggest you don't, because that dog can take shrapnel wounds from a mortar blast and still live. If you think you can break into that house, that dog is going to kill you. At number four we have Sam. Now Sam was a dog deployed to help in the conflict in Bosnia slash Herzegovina in 1998. In the town he was stationed in, an armed gunman opened fire on the civilians in the town. After he opened fire, Sam chased the man down, disarmed him, allowing his handler, Sergeant Carnegie, to disarm the man. Wow! But wait, there's more! Six days later, a mob armed with crowbars, stones and sticks surrounded almost 50 Serbs. Sam spent the next 10 to 15 minutes bravely fighting off this mob who wanted nothing more than to kill these local Serbs until reinforcements arrived. And it's for this specific action that he was awarded the Dickin Medal. Now the Dickin Medal is the highest award of bravery that can be given to an animal in military service. <laughs> That's right, this dog is one badass. Now at number three we have Gander. Now Gander was a member of the Royal Rifles of Canada during World War II. Now the unit was sent to Hong Kong to defend the island against Japanese aggression. Now his first act of bravery was charging a group of Japanese soldiers who were attacking a bunch of Canadian wounded, ultimately saving the wounded men's lives. He's a dog. He's totally a dog. Unfortunately, Gander's bravery doesn't end here. During the Battle of Le Mou, on December 19th, 1942, he picked up a live grenade that had been thrown at his uh, loyal Canadians, and he picked it up and walked away with it. Obviously, when the grenade exploded, he died, but he saved the members of his unit. Now, because of this, on October 27th, 2000, that's right, 2000, 60 years later, he was posthumously awarded the Dickin Medal, which is the uh, highest award for bravery you can give to an animal for saving the lives of the Canadian soldiers throughout that entire campaign. True story. I think Gander made a bit of a mistake here. You know what he should have done with that grenade? He should have run straight back at the Japanese and took those bastards out with him. Now, at number two, we have Chips. Now, Chips is a Collie slash German Shepherd slash Siberian Husky mix who is the most decorated dog of World War II. Now, this particular pooch saw action in Germany, France, North Africa, and even Sicily. No way! 
One of the most famous uh, heroic exploits of this particular dog is when he charged with his unit an Italian machine gun nest, helping to take it out and, in the process, capture 10 Italian prisoners. Are you out of your mind? Now, Chips was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross, Purple Heart and Silver Star, which unfortunately were revoked because the military policy at the time was not to award recognition for specific animals. Son of a bitch! The dog was allowed to retire at the end of the war and returned home to his hometown of Pleasantville, New York. And at number one, we have Nemo A534, the German Shepherd. Yeah, no, it's a weird name, isn't it? On December 4th, 1966, Nemo and his handler, Airman Second Class Bob Thornburg, were doing a regular patrol through a cemetery near their company's airbase in Vietnam. Now, they came under heavy enemy fire when they entered the cemetery from the local VC. Now, Nemo took a round to the eye and his handler took one to the shoulder, but he managed to kill two of the VC guerrillas before he fell. Now, undaunted, Nemo continued to attack the enemy while his handler managed to call for reinforcements. Now, if that... If that is not bravery, you haven't even, it, like, it's not even finished. His handler became unconscious through blood loss, and Nemo placed himself on top of his handler with gunfire going all the way around him to protect him. Now, when the Viet Cong moved in, he continued to bite and snarl at them and continued to attack until the reinforcements arrived. Now, even when the reinforcements arrived, Nemo would not get off his handler, would not leave his side. They had to bring out a local veterinarian to tranquilize Nemo so they could treat the handler underneath him. I'm happy to say both Nemo and Thornburg recovered from their wounds, and Nemo was given a retirement kennel where he lived happily until he died in December 1971. Oh, I bet it was an incredible journey. You gotta wonder how the Americans lost this war if the Viet Cong can't even kill a simple German Shepherd after already having shot him in the eye. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this look at some of the badass military dogs from history. It makes me want to get a dog, but because I've already got a rabbit, Sir Lancelot, unfortunately, dogs and rabbits don't really mix. You can't really have the two together. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button down below. I really would appreciate the support. I love it when you guys click that like button, so keep it going. If you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, the links are in the description below. I'm always on that basically 24-7. I'm always posting, sharing things, stuff like that. So if you want to chat to me, that's the best way to do it. And as always, if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down below. <coughs>a video every Sunday and I'm starting to do a vlog at least once a week maybe twice if I've had an absolutely fantastic week um, like I said I hope you enjoyed this video I hopefully will see you next Sunday with a brand new video and don't forget be excellent to everyone peace